Today, guys, I've got something kind of interesting. You see, when I was out and about with Gamer Guts, I came across something so unusual that I just had to do something with it. You see, I found a gaming keyboard and mouse at Walgreens. Now, for those of you who live in the United States, I know you guys pretty much all know what a Walgreens is. I check the Google Maps, they're pretty much all over the country. They're essentially a pharmacy slash corner store that we have here in the United States. And because of that, it's not exactly the place that you'd expect to find gaming products, but uh, lo and behold, I bought them. And uh, let's just say uh, they're gonna be interesting. All right, so let's let's get into this. Uh, so what are these gaming keyboards that were found at Walgreens? Well, they're under the name Level Up. And if you turn around the box, you'll notice that it is made by Vivitar, the company that is known for making kind of subpar products. <laughs> but that being said, uh, I don't really have high hopes for this to be completely honest. The box, is extremely light. Um, I think this whole box weighs less than the uh, Huntsman Mini that I own. Uh, according to uh, Vivitar, this is a pro gaming keyboard. And if you flip it around to the back, We've got backlit LED keys with responsiveness of mechanical keyboards. Not mechanical keyboard, uh, it is the responsiveness. So this is gonna be a membrane keyboard with the comfort of a gaming keyboard. Contradictory, like mechanical gaming keyboards are a thing. So, okay, multimedia buttons, uh, those look like pretty standard. In fact, actually this key layout looks identical to most of the pack in Dell ones that came with like the Optiplexes. Durable keycaps and switches provide millions of clicks and consistent performance. Um, clicks are a sign of a mechanical keyboard unless this is a mechanical membrane, which I highly doubt. Also, you'll notice that although the box looks like there's RGB, I highly doubt that it is not just a green, red, and blue LED. Like this is fake RGB to begin with. So, uh, and then also you got like your copyrights and stuffs where we found out that it's made by Vivitar. Uh, so, contains pro gaming keyboard. I'm assuming that that's literally what they're calling this thing is the pro gaming keyboard. So, uh, let's crack open this uh, pro gaming keyboard with LED keys. Oh, uh, by the way, this whole keyboard cost less than $20. So, all right, wow, very little fanfare in there. Just the keyboard and then some protective foam and instructions on how to connect a keyboard to a PC in case you didn't know how to do that. Oh boy, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> Oh no! What is this material on this? There's like something on it. Oh, it feels weird. Looks like there's a peel here. Or maybe I'm just gonna peel off the sticker. Not sure. How the fudge? Does it feel this bad? Oh my God. I had low expectations, but this is, oh, this cord feels like garbage. The keyboard feels like garbage. It's already got a broken key. <laughs> It came with a broken key. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, I did not have very high hopes for this, but uh, this is bad. The F7 is completely like shot. Let's see. Yeah, it, it, it's missing whatever is used to stabilize the key and push it back. It is not in there. Yeah. Just pull off another key to take a look. I don't know, it's supposed to be pretty much passive. Uh, much like I expected, these are fully membrane keys. Yeah, that F7 is pretty fudged. All right, cool. Uh, let's hope this actually works and that F7 is not constantly being pressed, but uh, key travel's not bad. Uh, wobble's not terrible, but it just feels like the cheapest plastic I have ever touched. Like this, I could snap this over my knee. Like I could legitimately break this with very little, like do you see how much flex there is there? Oh, this is, oh, this is not great. All right, let's hope the, uh, the gaming mouse is a little bit better. Coming in at a whopping $9. This is the Level Up Pro Gaming Mouse with a DPI switch. So uh, futuristically comfortable with ergonomic design to minimize hand fatigue during long gaming sessions. Oh boy, RGB backlight. This one does actually claim it has an RGB backlight. Advanced optical sensor with three levels of adjustable DPI levels. Uh, DPI 800, 1000, and 1200. Those are some pretty low DPIs. Uh, this one again contains, so this one actually seems a bit better, uh, I guess spec wise, but I, I don't have very much confidence in this one either. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Cord's still crap. Again, same instructions. Oh, and it's still that like, what in the world is this plastic? It is like the cheapest stuff possible. Ah, uh, it feels gross almost like You know, I was hoping that this was going to be better than this, but it's not worth it. <laughs> it's this, rarely does a video, like before I even get to testing, before I even get to plugging anything in, rarely do I go, this is so bad that you're better off using the pack-in. <sighs> All right. We're gonna torture ourselves. So, we've got it hooked up to the Raspberry Pi, and already I am even more underwhelmed than I thought I would be. So, uh, I mean, DPI button, yeah, it seems to work. I don't know. It's so minimal, it's not really gonna be that big of a difference. Um, keyboard, much like I expected, has a red, a green, and a blue LED. I'm gonna put that down because that doesn't feel great. So, so no joke, this is Gamer Guts's old keyboard, right? This was a $20 keyboard from Walmart. This is uh, that you got on sale, but this is a $20 keyboard from Walgreens. This is significant, even though the metal is mostly decorative. I have this no-name one. <laughs> this is a keyboard and mouse bundle for 20 bucks. I found it! <laughs> I have found what Vivitar is selling! <laughs> I love the space part of the designs are like just rescaling the image. They're legitimately like everything's in the same placement. They feel just as cheap as one another. Except this one looks like it was 3D printed. Oh, this one's cracked. But it also it also passed a uh, quality control. 
At least this one has a functioning F7. <laughs> I've never been so salty. Unintentionally, I have found the OEM for Level Up, or at least another clone of it. This is the GXT30. Which one, made, which one was made first? Uh, I'm gonna guess that these probably, here, if I can find it, there's probably an OEM in here. Rant aside, this is unfortunately not a 100% unique product, but rather a cheap OEM product that, well, this other company has an identical version of. I actually didn't even know I had an identical version of it. I was just pulling this off the shelf because I was pulling the Black Web one out, which is a significantly better keyboard for the same amount of money. Um, and this was a bundle that I believe was $20 for the keyboard and mouse, as where this would come closer to $30 for a keyboard and mouse. All right, so final verdict on this keyboard. So, it's a complicated position to be in because technically it works. It works well enough. Like, it doesn't seem to have ghost key presses. I mean, it doesn't have the fastest response time, but uh, we knew that it wouldn't. And it performs exactly where you think it would. Key stabilization isn't bad. The RGB is a little wonky and the quality control does appear to have a weird rating system in which this was a 10 out of 12. So it's not really that bad, but it's also not worth $20. This is the same keyboard by the same OEM, exact same design. And this keyboard and mouse combo was $20, as where this one came closer to 30. And they're the exact same keyboard and mouse. And using the mouse actually ended up being the worst offender, actually. I honestly thought that the keyboard was going to be worse than the mouse, but I was wrong. The mouse actually hindered my ability more than the keyboard. I was trying to play Doom Eternal and I could not get off the flick shots that I could normally do. Which means that overall the mouse itself is just less responsive, which at 1200 DPI, which is lower than uh, any of the DPI settings that I actually use, it just feels sluggish. It is super light though, and it does have a very satisfying click to it. But overall, I would actually recommend against getting this. Um, the main reason I'm saying that is because, well, you have better options. Now, true, it does have flashy lights and you won't be getting those in the other options, but for $20, you can probably pick up a pretty decent Logitech keyboard that's going to last longer. And if you're willing to save some money, Razer is known to have bundle deals that can be had for around $40 with keyboards and mice in them. So in reality, I would just not get this. Not because it doesn't work, but because I honestly do believe that it is quite fragile. I mean, the fact that my F7 key is broken on this and there should be absolutely no moving parts to break, well, is concerning. And in reality, it doesn't bode confidence for this. Like, we've got a lot of flex here. You drop this thing wrong, you're going to shatter it. This one has a shattered case on it. Um, and I think that was entirely done in shipping and handling. This one already has some cracks along the bottom and we just took it out of the box. So I would not recommend it. It doesn't feel great. It doesn't, it looks okay, but it doesn't really play that well, if that all makes sense. It does exactly what a keyboard needs to do without going above and beyond. Effectively, I would say the most disingenuous part of this entire product is calling it the pro gaming anything. You're not going to be playing this in any type of professional environment. 
let alone using this keyboard as if it were some specialized piece of equipment. The truth is, this is made by an OEM in China. Uh, this is one of the many companies that are rebranding and selling these. And in all seriousness, there's nothing all that special about it, if that makes sense. Vivitar grabbed an OEM, put their name on it, and sold it in Walgreens. Which means it's accessible to more people, but in reality, as a kid who would have picked something like this up, I would have been extremely disappointed to own it. So, that's my final thoughts on it. You should not get this. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe. I do content like this all the time. In fact, actually, the next keyboard and mice combo that we're gonna be taking a look at is coming from Amazon, as Amazon Basic also has a gaming mouse and keyboard.